Hey folks, uh, Coin Man here, and welcome to another uh, in my video series, Coin Man Herb Aviation. Today we're going to talk about medical certification. First of all, I want to say thanks. I uh, read all your comments and questions and all that good stuff, and I, and I really thank all of you for uh, tuning in and listening and, and taking some of my advice. Uh, pretty interesting like I say I read a lot of your comments and stuff and um, <coughs> excuse me I just got done working out uh, that uh, insanity will <laughs> literally literally will kill you but that's another story anyway like I was saying I read all your comments and questions and stuff pretty interesting stuff um, but just so we're clear this series is it, it's it's gonna take time just like your aviation career you know, I hear a lot of your questions and comments, you know, and everyone wants it right now. Well, that's not how it works. Uh, you know, someone asked me, hey, gee, you have over 11,000 hours. How did you get those hours? Well, I got them one hour at a time. And so in this series, we're going to start from the very, very beginning, and we're going to work our way all the way up to when you interview, get hired, what happens when you're on the line, all that good stuff. But first, we got to start with the basics. So that's why today I chose the topic of medical certification. Because basically, without good health, you will not be a pilot. I don't mean to sound crass or mean or anything, but uh, health is, is definitely the key to a, uh, a, a long pilot career. In fact, I have my medical certificate right here, and one of the first things it lists on the back of it under conditions of use is you must have it in his or her possession at all times while exercising the privileges of an airman certificate. So what's that tell you? Without this, you cannot fly. So you're interested in flying. You want to become a pilot. You want to get your pilot license. Before you go out, and invest one single penny on flight training of any sorts, I highly recommend that you go see an AME. That's a uh, aviation medical examiner. Um, and look at getting your medical certificate. And actually, if you think you might have any sort of medical conditions, I would recommend going to your own private physician first having um, tests run and everything and making sure you're in good health and then go on over to your AME and get your medical certificate. The reason why I say that is is you don't want to invest time and money uh, and then find out later that you might have some condition that's going to prevent you from holding a medical certificate. Now, I would say I'm not a doctor, didn't even stay at Holiday Express last night. But, but things like diabetes, um, if you had heart problems, heart transplants, uh, vision, color blindness, hearing, uh, substance abuse, all that stuff can really, uh, are what they call disqualifying conditions for a medical certificate. Now, the FAA will work with you in some certain instances, and um, you can get waivers and things of that sort. But before you go out and, like I say, invest any sort of money into an aviation training, I highly recommend that you go get your medical certificate. That's about it for today. Um, I want to say thanks again for uh, tuning in and listening. Uh, like I say, we will continue the process. Uh, we'll slowly get you there. And one more thing. Um, I will put a couple links at the bottom of this video to help you out in terms of um, looking under what the FAA has in terms of medical certification, uh, what you need to do to get your medical certificate, how to find an AME, all that good stuff. I'll put that on the links underneath. So after you finish watching here, you click the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Uh, you make a little comment. Uh, there's a little area there. Well, I'll put some links in. You can read and check and look around and do some research on your own. But the bottom line is before you do any flight training, I highly recommend you have your health checked out before you do any of this and make sure you're healthy. 
because without a medical certificate, you will not have a flying career. Once again, thanks for watching. Coin Man Herb, I'm out.